This is the village of Ban Non. Perched on the outskirts of the Lao capital of Vientiane, Ban Non is one of the many villages that have recently dedicated themselves to the production of silk. The looms that these women are using have been part of the Lao culture for hundreds of years. Looms were strictly used for personal weaving, making traditional clothing for the immediate family. All of these looms in Ban Non are now devoted to the commercial production of silk. The tradition of weaving was almost lost to the Lao culture due to the extensive damage the country suffered during the Vietnam War. Looms, silkworms, and traditional patterns were all abandoned in the rush towards safety. I have now about 40. New Nim is one of the people that is helping the revival of the silk culture. He has returned to his home province of Zheng Quan and invested $10,000 in raw silk production. These summer students are digging trenches for a new field of mulberry bushes that are the key ingredients silkworms need to produce the raw silk. So far, he has over 100,000 bushes in production. His goal is 300,000. He has 30 boxes of silkworms, and they consume over 20,000 kilograms of mulberry leaves every month. This variety gives big leaves, which are very soft. You can go and see the native one over there, and we can compare the size of the leaves. That is why we found this variety the best. This silk in Vientiane's morning market is largely from Vietnam. The Lao regarded as marginal in quality and lacking in basic design. These women are buying silk thread that they will dye and weave themselves with traditional designs and then offer up their work at the growing number of market stalls that are now specializing in the selling of Lao silk. The concept of weaving as a means of livelihood, uh, in addition to weaving just for yourself, uh, to weave to make money, and to bring pride back into the Lao women. Some of the better quality weavings end up for sale here at the Art of Silk, a store run by the Lao Women's Union, a government agency. Inspired by the growing trade and wishing to encourage Lao women to produce more and more silk, this store is one of the best places to find high quality weaving at reasonable prices. <laughs> Women appreciate our help. We also want to expose women to the more traditional designs and teach them about their history. It was less than 50 years ago that Lao textiles such as these told the story of the weaver and the wearer and the culture they shared. A woman's skirt and its colors, patterns, and images was part personal biography and part cultural mythology. But the women weavers of today do not weave for that newborn niece, a fiancé, or a sister, but for strangers. Strangers who want the finest of silk, strangers with cash. Ed Fitzgerald, Asia Business News, Vientiane, Laos.